Fisher. I can't stress this enough. If one Japanese soldier dies, we risk World War III. Any fatalities and I abort the mission immediately. I understand. Locate our officers. Find out what the hell is going on. I'll find them. Kokubo social? Wait. Right. That's like defending the CIA building or something. What do you mean? Well, it's not like anybody would be crazy enough to bust in here. This is the easiest job in the world. Better take a look around. Huh? 
Hey, you, you're American. Maybe, but I'm not here to rescue you. That's okay. We're not really hostages anyway. What's going on? Not too sure. SDF rounded up all the U.S. personnel and locked us up. We saw some generals and ministers being brought in earlier. Where did they go? Into the war room in the sub-level. The doors to the lower levels are sealed. The captain was just up here, looking for combat-ready volunteers to go down there. Maybe the doors are open now. Perfect timing. Somebody will come from later. Sam, we need to record everything that happens in that meeting so we can present it to the Joint Chiefs. Where's the war room? In the sub-level beneath the main floor. It would speed things up if you'd let me remove some of the threats. Forget it, Fisher. Until we know who the enemy is, there is no enemy. No enemy means no kills. Deal with it. Fisher, from the looks of it, these guards are LTL equipped. Less than lethal. Why? There's only one reason I can think of that they'd issue them to combat troops. They'll want to interrogate anyone they catch. Well, I'm not the talkative type. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Who switched off the rights? Some happy.
Fisher, GPS shows you're nearing the war room. Intelligence says it's a tempest hardened cube. The only way you'll be able to record what's going on in there is to find some way inside. Tempest hardening might keep out electronic intruders, but I'm betting the room isn't airtight. Probably not. Sam, I've got some details on the building's infrastructure. This vent should come out directly over the war room. I'll try and laser mic the meeting from there. Good. We'll let you know when we have enough to make the Joint Chiefs happy. We cannot, but if he has control, political suicide. We have already taken the American. Sir, he is Admiral Otomo. Admiral. Is the meaning of this? You will repeal the post-war constitution. You will order the immediate remilitarization of Japan. And return control of our nation to the order of the Emperor. The United States will support this act politically and militarily to release themselves from further financial and military obligations, thereby concluding our relationship with the nation. This is even if we repeal the Constitution, the Emperor will never... The Emperor will do what the military tells him! I am not an unreasonable man. These efforts will take time. I have faith in your honor and prudence. So I give you 96 hours. 96? The people will never allow it. If in four days these demands are not met, I will initiate the launch of a North Korean ballistic missile and sacrifice a Japanese city of my choosing. Britain is will kill millions, but it will steal the will of the people if your appeals cannot. For the sake of your honor and for the sake of Japan, I plead with you to not force my hand in this matter. That's it. He caught the signal. My God. Good God, Fisher. That confirms it. Otomo has been manipulating the Japanese government the entire time. At least they're not sanctioning his actions. What's the next step? How do we stop Otomo? If we're lucky, we might not have to. What do you mean? Grim? I'm worried about that general, Fisher. He's been awfully quiet working on his laptop. Access it from here. Let's see what he's planning. Will do. I'm trying to reconnect. Ops, this is central. We have your feet. Missile at his own country. What's the time frame? Could be hours, could be 
could be minutes. Get down there and destroy his servers. What about extraction? If you can't take out those servers before Otomo forces a launch, there won't be any reason to extract. And if I do take servers? We'll make that part up as we go. That's half a plan if I've ever heard one. Just got off the horn with the Joint Chiefs. I'm lifting the non-lethal mission parameter. Fifth freedom with everyone except Otomo. You're kidding me. We need to capture him alive. His profile is pretty clear. He won't lie to a war crimes tribunal in the face of the evidence. He would offend his sense of honor. You need him to take responsibility so the rest of Japan is off the hook with North Korea. Exactly. If Otomo dies, we're right back at square one. Bring him in breathing. Fools! They're sending another assault team! Cut the power to the elevators! Fisher, North Korea just contacted NORAD and the President. They report that they've lost control of a launch facility. They can't abort, and they're not sure that they can destroy the missile on time. How long? They say three minutes until it's away. I think I can reach the server in time. Hurry up! Good thinking, Fisher. Any line on what's going on in this place can only help. Absolutely. Thank God, Fisher. That aborted the launch. Yeah, but I think it woke up the neighbors. Get through them, Fisher. Then bring in Otomo alive. My pleasure. Give it up, Admiral. It's over. <laughs> you think that I will surrender to you? 
You think that I will allow your people to strip me of my dignity? Throw me in chains? No, I think not. My people have endured your charming oppression for more than 60 years. You say tomato. Americans, always turning to their jokes when their hearts are full of fear. And you should be afraid. I may be defeated, but I am a man, and ideas are stronger than men. You may even prevent this war, American, but the dragon has awoken, and he will not be so easily sedated this time. Now what? I think someone is taking himself a bit too seriously. We can't afford to let him die, Fisher. Get in there and stabilize him. Fast! Fisher, he's stable, but we still have to get him out of there. You're going to have to blast your way out. We're over a hundred feet underwater. You're not pressurized, Fisher. It will be a shock, but you won't get the bends. Next time, you're going on the mission and I'm making up the crazy plan.